Hi, this is Gigi, and this will be a mid-month July 2019 tower reading for my Gemini. And so, welcome to my other YouTube channel, which is Sea Light. So, before I record all my readings, I always meditate and I ask for guidance. Okay, I also shuffle before as well. And so, let's see for my Gemini what is the energy currently and till the end of the month maybe later on sometime I notice things manifest or sometime it could have just uh, happened a few days ago so Gemini and cross watchers mid-month July 2019 oh my Gemini you either took a decision that's gonna that's not gonna lead you necessarily to where you want to be and it's I'm saying this because I see right now there's the judgment in reverse okay it's, there is I mean be cautious my Gemini because wherever you're going the direction it's that you're changing into is it's gonna bring you for the start it's gonna bring it could possibly possibly bring you some loss financial loss here it's although it's in the past so some of you already crossed that already I mean it's I'm not sure what type of change you're trying to make right now I feel that um, you know you've been rushing into doing something feeling very um, sure of yourself okay because you you know this is not new there's something that you're about to do uh, my Gemini, that could be in a relationship. Maybe you're rushing into a relationship. Maybe you're rushing into a, a, a move, okay, or some type of a change in your relationship. That could be partnership, business-wise, or there's some changes happening, and you feel very confident about that right now. And, you know, confidence, yes, is good because I feel that you're about to get some real good advice okay I think some of your friends or maybe you're gonna be reaching out to people that's gonna give you real good advice however I mean I see that you know it's like you're carrying you know this will have some impact on other people's lives this that you're are trying to do here I'm trying to get some clarification here for uh, the seven by the way I love this deck It's the zombie tarot deck I'll put the description below here what I have with the seven of Pentacles is that you know in reverse is that you're rushing in at a new beginning you're going towards something I mean you might be right something has to end maybe it's a job maybe it's a partnership maybe it's a long time friendship maybe you're, you you want to move there's definitely something that has to change or uh, not change I would I would say end okay in some really important area of your life but the way you're going about it uh, I feel that it shows that there's some loss you know if you're rushing yourself there will be some loss and also some you know some people you may affect some other people live negatively okay so it's recommended that you really actually right now you go within okay it's not even there will be advices for you okay um, but there's some people who really for some reason don't agree with what you're doing right now I mean this could be a specific reading for some of my Gemini so that means that if you're rushing into a relationship there's some people that are really really not they don't feel the same way about it or maybe it's about your partner okay maybe you're because I see that like there's some emotional uh, connection here but it's like it's very heavy it feels very very heavy and here it says that you know this transformation or this ending is about to take place and you may not be just looking at all the angle and because it affects other people, let's just clarify the Ten of uh, Pentacles in reverse. You, there's some type of loss, financial loss. Um, 
Someone is going to come and help you, though. Listen to advice of a good friend. That's the time to listen to advices of people that have known you before or for a long time. Like I said, the ending may not, you know, may not be the wrong thing. It's if it's ending a relationship or if it's ending a, a work, uh, you know, or if it's ending maybe, um, you know, you a visa or you staying abroad, you know. Or you going apart. If there's, you know, there's endings. But I feel that I just don't see the new beginning taking place. I just see like a bunch of things ending. And you're really going towards something without really... It really is important that... Um, that you seek some guidance, my Gemini. Uh, the guy, I mean, if you like to have a private reading, absolutely come forward. But I do feel that the guidance that is required is, is from the people that are really, really, you know, that have been known you for a long time or that are really personally involved in whatever direction you're going, okay? Because, um... You know, there's like, I feel like there's a, if it's a, a partnership or a bond, like there's one scale that doesn't really, I mean, I don't believe in 50-50, but there's one that is really down. And it's, it seems that you're, you know, you're not able to, to find a way to bring that up in your, in every direction that you're going towards. Okay. Um. Oof, maybe you're going through, some of you guys are going through a mid midlife crisis. Maybe now you're like, you know, F this. I just, I just want to be happy. I feel I'm happy now and this is my happiness. Like you're going, you know, against really some type of um, direction. Because, you know, you have a lot of karmic energy around you, um, especially which has to do with either your siblings, your family, a house, job, things that are very, and people that are very important to you are just maybe not in the same page in something. I mean, happy birthday. <laughs> I know it's your birthday. Um, no, it's not your birthday. What am I saying, you guys? But if it's, it could be kind of your birthday because... The sun is in Leo and it's in your third house. So whenever it's like this time, it really is where, when uh, Gemini also shine because, you know, Gemini Mercury is like the, you know, the planet that goes, that is closer to the sun, which, which is Leo and their best friend, you know. So you have a lot of support, I see. And you may be celebrating with your friends, you know, and you want them to celebrate with you. But they may not be celebrating what you're celebrating, like, because you, you know, you are going against some type of, let's just clarify the hermit and the death guard. Ooh, you have to take your time, my Gemini, like, even if it's just in a business de deal, you're ready to invest, let's say, you find your, you find a distributor or a vendor, and you're ready to invest, and you're just like about to sign a paper and you have a connection with whoever that is, like whatever impression you have, you have to slow down. And I would recommend at least till the end of the month. Like, and on top of that, yes, Mercury is in retrograde. So in terms of business agreements, like really right now, is like there's some type of traps here. I'm not saying that someone is, you know, is, you know, is purposely want to sh purposely want you to fall into one, but it shows that you are rushing in a way where it may not be, you know, inevitable that, you know, if you don't, especially if you don't, uh, wait. And I would say, you know, although this reading it's between now and the end of July, 2019, I would recommend with what I see right now that you wait till the end of the year. Because there are a lot of people involved that 
are that could really be affected by that negatively by the decision that you're making and you know like i said don't feel bad my gemini i'm being hard on you you know i'm a scorpio i have to i'm a straight shooter but i feel that you know here there is a, a an ending and it's gonna be a good one like you're finally gonna close chapter in, into something very that's been somehow you know uh you know that has passed its course and that could be a career, it could be a job, but it does involve some amount, some partnership. So it has to do with someone else as well, or more than one person. And right here, this, it shows that, you know, the way you're going about it in that direction is you're not being cautious enough that you could lose money, okay? You could lose something valuable, so it seems to be money, but you also, you know, could affect some people negatively, okay? And it's sad because sometimes when you separate, it does affect people negatively, but it's, here it's not really about that. It's mostly because of the fact that you're doing it so fast. Maybe you need to talk. Maybe you need to have more conversation with your close one. Maybe you need to hear what other people has to say. And mostly I feel that you need to really go within, really, and ask yourself really those questions. You're, you know, you're able to look uh, in that, in as profound right now, as deep as this, because as, as is required, I should say, because, you know, your ruler is, uh, Mercury's retrograde in, uh, in Cancer, which is your 12th house. So, you know, and I know that the moon right now, and is it the, is the moon? It's just the energy is really wanting to communicate with you. All you have to do is to go within, okay? Um, here, you know, you're going to hear the truth. You're going to hear it by the horse mouth, you know? See if, and it's not the time for assumption. I feel that here you're making a decision, um... But the thing is, it may not bring you, it may not lead you to where you want to be. Like, you're you're really being strategic into the way you want to go about it. Maybe you, instead of being up front, you're, you're, there's some hidden details that you're purposely keeping to yourself. And I also feel, as I can see, that... Like, there's a woman here, or maybe like a feminine energy. That has triggered something. That's like making you a little bit more reckless. And if it could be also a man, you know. But there's someone who said something that maybe, you know, triggers something in you. Or maybe... Their behavior, you know, triggers something in you. And that, that could be something in the past, maybe something that happened at the beginning of the year. And then a few months after that, March, April, your things starting to change. Now we're in July, you're making a decision about that. So that's something that triggers you, that trigger that type of like fast pace movement. But there will be corrections that you will have to make, you know, and it's recommended that you do so. And those corrections seems to be related to, um, see, so many people involved. is definitely related to your home. You might have small children, maybe there's something that has to be maybe monitored or maybe approached in regards to maybe your kids or younger siblings, but I feel that for some of you that have kids, there's something that has to be discussed. They maybe want to tell you something. Um... And yes, I mean, 
Because you just really, you don't right now, don't really care too much about what other people think. It doesn't mean that it's bad, but it's just that you do need guidance right now. You know, you have to find, like I said, the scale or not, the weight is really heavy. Okay. But you know how to, to uh, how to express yourself. You know how to get the information you need. So, you know, with all this Mercury retrograde for you, it's kind of heavy in your 12th house, you know, which is kind of, you know, it's, it's a very sensitive house. In Cancer, it's a very sensitive place, and it, it has to do with your family, your home, or the people that you have known for a long time. And there's some of them, they don't agree with the behavior that is... Or there's something that you're doing it, and they're, you know, I'm not sure if if who's in the right or wrong, but it shows that you are hasty. You're being very, you're making hasty decisions, and um, there's something that triggered that was triggered with you. Someone, someone says, maybe someone behavior towards you, you know. Um, but you know what? I'm going to end this right here. Please leave me comments. Comment below. Let me know how this resonated with you. I just read the card as I saw it, but I'm so curious to see what's happening with you, my Gemini. Until next time, send you kisses. Love you.